Hey there, today we're going to create a breaking news intro to our PowerPoint presentation. Like always, I recommend you to watch the tutorial first, but I will also include the link to the file so you can download the intro itself and you can start using it with your own presentation. All right, so let's get started. Here I am in the blank document in my PowerPoint. I will change the layout to blank and we will need to adjust the backdrop first. So let's head to design and from here we can format the backdrop. We're going to use some kind of gradient. This is supposed to be a radial gradient so we got color coming as the circle you could say. All right, so we got radial from the center. That's good. And I will kind of keep it blue so the center of it can be maybe even more just like that and then I need just few more on the edge so the edge of it should be way darker like this okay so we got blue gradient coming from the center to the sides that's our backdrop with this out of the way, we can actually drag and drop some kind of like world map. You always use something like that on TV. So we can use any free stock website to grab a map. Let me just copy and paste mine. And here it is, SVG map of the world. I can scale it up a little bit. I will not need a designer panel for this one. All right, the good thing is if it's SVG file, we can convert to shape. And this way you can easily control the actual color of it. So we can make it dark blue like this to match the backdrop very, very well. All right, that's a nice start. Now it's time to add our breaking news. Let's insert a shape. All right, so we are here in the Insert tab. I'm selecting a shape over here. I will need this shape without any outline. One need to be red and copy and paste. Another one can be white, I think, or almost white. Perfect. You can double click on the shape to type breaking news of course for the bottom one we need to recolor the text for the top i will keep the text white you can select select both shape in the same time by holding shift this way if you keep editing the text you will make changes in both cases All right, that's nice. Okay, now I try to search for a nice position for my breaking news. This look in the center, so that's good. A little bit larger, and as I mentioned, the bottom part I need to reformat that so I'll get rid of the stroke. I don't need a stroke, I actually need a fill color, no outline. Okay, and that's nice. Now we need to be sure that we got animations on those two shapes. So, whenever the slide appear, they will slide in from left and right. So click on the top shape, go for animation panel, and we want some entry animation. We want to maybe fly this in from the left. And then we will do it a little bit slower. So let's modify this. We got our animation. Duration is 50 seconds. Let's give it a, sorry, 0 0.5. Let's give it like 1 point. Five, okay, and then for the news, we're going the same thing. Fly in this time from the right side, a bit longer, and this will click after previous. 
Okay, that's a nice start. What else can we do? Let's try to apply some special effects. All right. So in the shape format menu, we can give a bit of glow here. So let's select a random glow first. I pick blue glow, but we can change that. We can go for a custom glow color, like white, for example. So that's something we can do as well. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. I will just send this shape to the top. So that will be over here, bring forward. And we are ready to test this out. So let's click slideshow play from start. Nothing here. And I, if I click breaking news, that's nice. Simple, not overcomplicated intro. Of course, we can change the animation trigger for this guy. It can trigger with the start of the slide. So we can give with previous. So that's nice. And this way it will trigger itself when we play the slide. So let's try again. Hmm? Now it start without me clicking anything. All right. So that's our breaking news intro. We can put it in any place in your PowerPoint. You can put it in the middle to surprise your viewers as well. Okay. I'm going to link this file. The link will be in the description so you can download that and start using right away. Please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel for more tutorials like this one. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.